Flipkart Axis Bank credit card used to be one of the best entry level and beginner friendly credit cards. But after the recent devaluations it faced, is it still a good card? And should you own it? We'll find out in this video. I will discuss in detail about all these topics plus share some lesser known and bonus facts about this card with a verdict in the end on whether you should get this or not. Timestamps are given in the video. So let's begin. Number one, eligibility and documentation of Flipkart Access Bank credit card. To be eligible for this card, you need to be above 18 years of age and have a job with a minimum salary of rupees 15,000 per month. For income proof, you need to give salary slips and last three months bank statements. The documents you need to submit are either Aadhaar or PAN card or voter ID and you need to show address proof like water or electricity or any utility bill. If you are self-employed or a freelancer like me with no full-time job, then you need to have a monthly income of rupees 30,000 or more and have to share your ITR returns of last year and last three months bank statements. Number two, how to apply for Flipkart Access Bank credit card. To apply for this card, you just have to visit their website, fill in some details and your application will be registered if you meet the eligibility criteria. I have shared the official website to apply for this card in the description box and pin comments of this video. Please note there are online scams happening these days where you get spam calls or messages that say your credit card has been approved with one or two lakh limit. Click on the link to get the card. Please never click on such links as these are scams and only apply through verified and official links. Number three, joining an annual fees of Flipkart Access Bank credit card. Flipkart Access Bank credit card has a joining fee of rupees 500 and from second year it will be waived off if you spend 3.5 lakh on this card in one year you may think whether paying the 500 rupees fee is worth it or not well stay tuned for the final verdict in the end but before that you need to know the features and benefits of this card now the most important part of the video the features and benefits of this card include 5 percent unlimited cashback while buying anything from flipkart and there's no cap or upper limit on the cashback please note this card does not offer 5 percent cashback for mintra anymore I will explain why in the next point. You also get unlimited 4% cashback from their partner merchants which include Swiggy, Uber, PVR, Cultfit, Cleartrip and Tata Play. For any other online or offline transactions, you get a flat 1.5% cashback. This card has a welcome benefit worth Rs 500 as Flipkart vouchers which you get instantly after your first transaction using this card. That means the 500 rupees joining fees that you pay, you get back as Flipkart vouchers which you can use in any of your future Flipkart orders. For example, if you order something on Flipkart, let's say for 700 rupees, you can use the 500 rupees voucher and you will only have to pay rupees 200. In addition, you will also enjoy a flat 5% cashback on the final rupees 200 you pay. Another welcome benefit of this card is on your first Swiggy order, you get a 50% instant discount up to rupees 100 using this code. In addition, you get 4 complimentary airport lounge access per year on this card which you can use once per quarter. This is the list of the available airport lounges. You also get 15% off up to Rs 500 across 10,000 partner restaurants across India with Easy Diner. I will put the restaurant list in the description box below, do check it out. In addition, you get a 1% fuel surcharge waiver valid on transactions between rupees 400 to 4000 with a maximum benefit of rupees 400 per month. Using the Flipkart Access Bank card, you can convert any purchase above rupees 2500 to EMIs with 10 years of 6, 9, 12, 18 or even 24 months. And now let me tell you about some bonus info and less unknown facts about the the Flipkart Access Bank credit card which you may not know. Number one, any payments made using this card towards government services, fuel spends, purchase of gifts on Flipkart and Mintra, EMI transactions, wallet loading, purchases converted to EMI, utility bill payments, educational services, rental payments, etc. will not be eligible for any cashback. Number two, do you know how much you can potentially save in a year using the Flipkart Access Bank credit card? Well, here's the value chart that shows that you can save up to rupees 18,980 rupees using this card if used wisely. You can save more if you keep buying on Flipkart using this card. Number three, here's how the cash cashback structure works. For example, if you spend Rs 10,000 on Flipkart using this card, you earn a cashback of Rs 500. 
So where will you receive this 500? Please note the cashback does not get credited to your bank account. It gets added to the next month's credit card bill. For example, if you have spent rupees 9,500 on this card the following month, your credit card bill will be of rupees 9,000 as the 500 rupees cashback from the earlier month will be added. Hope you got it. Comment down below if you have any confusion or queries till now and I will answer them all. And please kindly add a like to this video as it takes a lot of effort to make such helpful videos. Number 4. This card also used to give 5% unlimited cashback on Mintra 2 since Flipkart owns Mintra. But from August 2023, this card now provides 1.5% cashback only on Mintra just like any other normal website or offline transaction. This happened when Kotak Bank launched their co-branded Mintra credit card that provides 7.5% cashback on all Mintra products. Let me know in the comments below if you'd need a detailed video on the Kotak Bank Mintra credit card. Number 5. Axis Bank's customer care service is also helpful and available at all times. Here are the numbers that you can call when you have a problem. Save this, they will be helpful. Number 6. After getting this card, you should use the Axis mobile app where you can control the card, see your transactions, pay the credit card bill and more. And finally, number 6. Why should you get Flipkart Axis Bank credit card? Now the verdict on whether you should get this card or not. Well, honestly, if I have to share my verdict in one line, I would say if you use Flipkart a lot to order for you or for your family, then you should definitely own this card since it gives unlimited 5% cashback on every purchase on Flipkart with no upper limit. But if your concern is of the rupees 500 yearly charge, then trust me, it will be worth it as you will be getting way more returns with that investment. As shown in the value chart before, you can save up to rupees 18,000 or more if you use this card to its full potential only with an investment of rupees 500. So that's a great deal even if you can't get this card as a lifetime free as you are getting free airport lounge access, dining and shopping benefits and also welcome benefits worth rupees 500. It's a great entry level credit card that you should own to enjoy benefits plus to keep your credit utilization ratio under 30%. The only downside of this card would be if you're planning to get this for shopping in Mintra it won't be relevant now and you are better off with the Kotak Mintra credit card. And if you shop regularly on Amazon, then please take the Amazon Pay ICICI credit card that offers 5% unlimited cashback on Amazon. I have made a detailed video about it. You can check that out on my channel. In addition, you can also apply for the Axis MyZone card or IDFC Millennia credit card as these two are some of the best entry level credit cards. You will find detailed reviews of those cards in my credit card playlist. Subscribe for more helpful content and like the video if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. I'm Anirban and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.